vlog and it's actually a half a day vlog so time check it's 5 17 p.m so and a new update we just shifted the hamster cages um room um we shifted to the hall instead because it has been apparently um waking up my other pet which is cat at the night so let me show you the new place la, 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 la. so this is the new place we shifted the hamster to the hall and so we think it's better because it's more bright lit and as you see today is the cleaning day that's why the cage looks super dirty and yeah, so I'm not gonna clean my cage, which will, which I will soon edit it to fast motion because it'll be easier for you guys. Because I know you can tell, you can tell the slowness of my sleep and my changing. In case you're wondering, I just sorted out all my hamster stuff. So this is where I keep my hamster equipment and all those play items. The below one, um, the purple one here, I keep the sand, so called blah blah blah. Then this is a travel carrier, and this is just an emergency box for anything needed. Okay. So I'm gonna now clean my cage. So I'm gonna take out all this stuff first. So oh sorry, I have a close inside the cage. I didn't see him coming though. So uh this is gonna be chatty video, so I'm gonna just chat about what I think about my hamsters. Well please get out of the house, but boys beg you guys. Oh, don't worry, you're just seeing half of the cage. It's because of the camera position and yeah. So, as you see, they always keep tissues at the house. I have no idea why they do that. So, I'm just going to chat about my hamsters while I talk to you all. I'm just going to clean the cage with our hands inside. And as you see, you wasted a lot of food, like a lot of food. And I mean it. So, I'm going to open up this plastic bag. And put in the food that he wasted. That boy. Gonna keep the plate aside. This could be cleaning the equipment. No. But boy, get down. I'm just gonna keep the plastic bag inside. And I just realized they've been starting to poop. In the sandbar, they're trying to use the sandbar as their little bin, which so I have to stop this habit. And so I learned how to stop these kind of habits from Chocolate Palace Twenty Six. Um, if y'all do not know her, the link is in the description. Um, because I mentioned her, so I'm putting the link in the description. So she's a very nice person actually. So the thing is that she inspired me to make hamster videos. I had have, I had like two hamsters, no, but I know biting the plastic. And so she had like. She had, um, she, I mean, I've been watching her videos since I was young, and so I've been inspired by her because she's a very nice person, that's what I know. So it's super nice, she replies to business inquiries and urgent hamster queries really fast, and another person I grew up watching was Erin's Animals, because when I was young I used to have a cat, and Erin's Animals was so creative, and... So, okay, I'm gonna take out the hamsters and put them in the travel area. Okay. But they wouldn't listen, so I'm just gonna clean the cage with them inside. I'm gonna try this, okay, this is a new thing. My first time trying to clean the cage with them inside. I don't know if it's gonna work properly, but yeah. See, all those dirty things they do. Dirty boys. talk about so I've done my YouTube you know inspiration video already so the next thing I want to talk about now is the hamsters you might be wondering when their birthday is I think that when I don't know don't know when their birthday is but I do know the day I adopted them was August 2nd 2016 so I'm gonna consider that as their birthday so I'll consider the six month birthday special and I will celebrate it like soon and you'll be a special edition and I hope to reach 50 subscribers by then. I know it's very chatty but I'm so sorry guys. You have to bear with me to vlog, you know what I mean? So I wanna talk about 
talk about will be cross hamsters. Cross about my hamsters. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera because it's very heavy. So the next thing I want to talk about is about my hamster care and about my frequency of cleaning the cage. I clean the cage every week on the Mondays and you can you have guessed by now it's Monday so I clean my cage every Monday so Mondays is a really nice day to clean the cage for some reasons I don't know and every last Monday of the month I wash the cage with that all because you know it's dirty and all so I wash the cage with that all so that share with you my new bedding I bought. It's really awesome too. Like really awesome. So it's this rainbow colored bedding. It's not really rainbow color but it's super colored though. So this bedding is something I really love. Some kind of you know new version new version you know clearing cleaning my cage but this is just a, oh sorry boy this is just a new version cleaning my cage to be new this is just a new like chatty video slash vlog so now I'm just enjoying the new cage mm -hmm. so yeah, I guess they like the new cage. It's in December, a bit closer to the edge. So, let me just show you the full view of the cage. So, So time check, it's 5.34 p.m. I'm gonna dispose my rubbish. And I just realized I forgot one item. The broken trap mule. As I told you in the previous, uh, as I, in the, I just want to tell you something. That it's a huge news actually. My, my hamster's trap mule broke. And so they are now trap mules. And we went to Petco recently. And they said they were out of stock of the standing trap mules. The rest were like, you know, they can be um attached to the cage. You know, all those group cages. So they said they were out of stock. And it was almost quiet. Okay. They, and then I just realized, uh, you know, I had no choice but to just handle the cage. And so... And they said that stock would come in another three days and they really apologized for not giving in time. So yeah. Yeah, you can see him eating pumpkin seeds. So I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. 